finally VP can collect keys already. So South Link, right, is just right next to South View. If you are familiar with South View, you will know South Link. What's up guys, today we are visiting South Link. This is just right next to Northern Bangsa South that we have visited months ago. And then the other side is South View and one more. So in this area, quick briefing is well. Smack right in between two LRT stations. A lot of working population in this area, including big companies like Alibaba, Touch and Go. This area is easily accessible via different, different highways. Current Chilling, Duke Tree, which is under construction. Federal Highway. You can easily go to Mid Valley Driving. You can easily go to PJ Old Town Driving. Or if you want to take LRT to Mid Valley, Gardens Mall, KL Eco City, you can just take the elevated link bridge to Kerinchi Station. Take one station to Abdullah Hukum, where I actually did that video before. You take to Abdullah Hukum and you walk about like 5 minutes, you reach to KL Eco City. Probably 8 minutes or 10 minutes, you reach to Mid Valley or the Gardens Mall if you walk slow. So without further ado, let's have a look at the unit, the facility and what are the things that we like and don't like about South Link residence. The handover gives like the very simple one. Then, of course, all your handover checklist, including your defects uh, list for you to submit defects. Then, this is the aircon, career aircon uh, user manual. Your pouch from UOA. Then, your aircon remote control. So, here is provided in terms of the uh, kitchen cabinet, the induction hob, then the media hood. So the switches is over here, on and off, and then here is for your cooking hob. So you, if you don't use, just turn it off. So here you can put your oven, your microwave. Here is for you to put your washer, washing machine. So for here you can, there's a plug over here which you can use. Here is the outlet, floor trap, then the water inlet. Then this one is your stock cock to on and off your water. Lah. This is for the sink inlet. Then we go to the bathroom. So the fittings are, the given fittings are a collier. For the WC is the same, it's a collier. So what's given here is the toilet fixtures fittings, the shower screen, the small one, and then the shower set. There's no rain shower lah, over here. Then if you notice when you enter the unit, right, there is no light point over here, so don't worry. Just open the manhole. There would be a wiring so you can actually adjust your location of the lighting. Then from here, 1.5 horsepower aircon is provided. There's light point. If you want to put your fan over here, also can. They actually didn't provide any fan point. So you can actually adjust where you want to put your ceiling fan or you don't want to put at all. So one, two, three, then four, then there's another one. So total five. Lah. Then for outside, it's pretty much simple. Lah. The shoe rack area is a very short, like 1.5 feet kind of depth. So this unit is a Type A, 450 square feet unit. So facing to Northern Bangsa South, which we also covered in another video. So this area is towards the Manara TM area. 
and this area you can see all the vertical office Bangsa South UOA vertical office over this direction and this is the vacant land lah. so probably in the future there's another development over here each handover so you will have the handover checklist the defect list your Porsche handover gift and also your remote control all given so there's a handover checklist whereby you need to just need to sign when you do your VP so it's very simple lah for this unit is just a studio unit very simple design standard all is like by UOA so here is grazing tiles here is using timber flooring it's pretty much very standard kind of delivery no hollow tiles over here very easy to check la. no leaking over here So it's like pretty much standard. This is the back facing or the entrance facing of South Link. So here there will be still a field because this is a school, this is the field for the school. So in this area is vertical, all the office over here, touch and go, Alibaba and so on, that's Nexus. So I'm currently in the level 8. Level 8 is actually quite economical because you see that it's very practical simple kind of design uh, this floor is quite empty over to this side we are walking towards the pool area behind me is South Link next to me is South View so you can see very pretty much the same facade design the very standardized kind of work that you can expect from UOA. If you buy UOA project, one of the good and the bad thing is that certainty. You get certainty as in the finishing workmanship, the design, the facade is about the same. Whether you buy Desa Green, United Point, Sentu Point, South Link, it's all about the same copy and paste. So this is one of the things that we will think is not much of creativity and innovative. Facility-wise, it's pretty much very simple. One swimming pool, one wading pool, which is a children's pool. Small children's pool. Simple playground. A little bit of landscaping. So that's good and bad. Good thing is that less thing to maintain. Bad thing is that nothing much to offer in the facility areas. Basically, in this location, a quick brief is about. It's just right next to South View. Squeeze between South View, uh, Novum, and Commune Living. Commune Living is a co living space. Like. Very small space where they rent it out on maybe daily and weekly, weekly short term basis. Simple gym area. There's a weight, barbell, treadmill. There's four treadmill. Four cycle, one step cycle, wait right, see whether we can enter. Uh, it's locked, but I have the key. Uh, no, it's locked already, so we can't use it. So the South Link is literally next to Norbom, very close to Norbom, even closer to Commune Living, just opposite. Just opposite to it is commune living. So it's a very and this area, this area is a duke tree, duke tree high bay. So it brings up the community connectivity. So that's why every time you emphasize on investing on master plan is because of connectivity, infrastructure, amenities. So one of the things that's still improving is in terms of the highway connectivity of duke tree. And then in the future, there's also a Link linkage from Karinchi Highway. So whether you are coming from Damansara Heights, Mon Kiara Hapamas, you can straight away fly over. Now if I'm coming from PJ area, I have to use Karinchi Link, come over to Bangsa South, but I can't fly over. There's no fly over yet, but they are connecting the fly over directly into in between KL Gateway and also South View. 
it will improve the connectivity from PJ side, Ke, Mon Kiara, Hatama side to come straight to Bangsa South. If you are working here, you don't need to go to KL Eco City to make a turn. Just now when I come from Damansara area, I have to take Kerinchi, um, go to KL Eco City, make a round, come out from the UM area so that I can go straight cutting past KL Gateway before I can come to South Link. So in terms of product positioning, South Link is a thousand four units ranging from studio to a bigger size unit like two room, three rooms. So altogether, this L-shaped block is about 1,400 built by UOA Group. Affordable, economical, very simple, straightforward kind of design. Nothing fancy, not like Arte, not like Star, not like uh, Novum, which is the neighbor. So it's like totally different positioning. If we are looking for budget-friendly apartments or accommodation, South Link would be the one. See, all the material, the paintings used, right? The design used are very much simpler. Good and bad is like lower cost, easier to maintain, not much of fanciness. It looks just plain vanilla. What are the three things that I like is, of course, the accessibility. In Bangsa South, whereby you can just literally walk to work. And then there's also improved and improving connectivity through Duke 3 that will make it easier to actually travel to Bangsa South whether from the Ampang Cheras area, Sungai Persi area or the PG area, Hatamas area, Damansara Heights area through the uh, Korean Chi Link direct linkage to Bangsa South. In terms of the second thing is of course is because of decent pricing, South Link 3 is balanced up with the number of units lah. of course because this is 1004 units if you are looking for affordable, decent, not much of surprise in terms of uh, bad workmanship or defects, right? Then you are looking for something very certainty, then UOA is the one. Then of course, the third thing is that this area has ready existing tenants. If your tenants are working around this area, literally they don't need to own a car. They can just rent it here, walk over to work. And at the same time, this area is self-sustainable. It has commercial face, cafe, botanical and co. It has grocer in the next door, KL Gateway area, just next to South View. So it's very, pretty much convenient. We live here, it's a self-sustainable township. It's also developed by UOA. What we really like about our mega developments or master plan is like this, because they build a very sustainable, very convenient kind of a living space, living township. So is there any more newer mega developments in the area? Yes, just behind Bangsa South, there's Pantai Central Park, which will be developed by IJM Land. Is there any more new transit lines? Yes, maybe, because the rumoured or the planned MRT3 might have a station in Kerinci or University and also a station in Pantai Dalam. Pantai Dalam means Pantai Central Park. Original name is Pantai Dalam, then the newer rebranded name is Pantai Central Park. Similarly, like Bangsa South, la, last time they are called Kampung Kerinci and then UOA bought over uh, about like a 60 acres of land, then they start to rebrand the whole thing into Bangsa South. So if you are trying to imagine how Kampung Kerinci looks like, it will be something like how Pantai Dalam looks like it will be something like Kampung Kerinci in the past and then how does Pantai Central Park when it materialized in like 10 years time right 8 to 10 years time how does it look like it will probably look like Bangsa South today it's pretty much completed already uh, there's still like a vacant land here and there like the one next to South Link which is, which is this one and then of course there's also a school and the field which is also vacant not sure whether they are relocating that and then for future development so there isn't like much vacant land available for for big developments anymore in this area and what are the things that didn't catch my attention is of course the design of the product because this is a mass market affordable easy entry product it starts from like 300 over 1, 348,000 if I remember correctly they're holding the board the banner that they put a few years back so this is a um, simple straightforward product affordable uh. can't expect much in terms of like green elements la. can't expect like having the practical lifestyle blending in with all these green and elements like Novum or Ajala different kind of product so it's pretty much very expected kind of product la, because if you want to know how does it look just look at Desa Green look at South View 
look at the central uh, central point or united point it's pretty much pretty much the same at the same time it has nothing to complain because when they copy paste right when they copy paste uh, the chances of having error is lower ma. so you are able to deliver a much more expected much more decent product because you are keep on doing roughly the same thing over and over again and another thing is that facilities is really really quite simple nothing much to be expected lah. second thing I don't quite like is uh, facilities lah. so it's one thing is that being price and the balance in the middle of price point and also the facilities and the deliverables right yeah it's quite fair because it's like you're buying something around 300,000 to like 500,000 yeah it's like pretty mass market so the offerings is not that wow kind of things which is pretty understandable units towards towards the outside is a little bit noisier but you are if you are in the unit you close the sliding door the sliding door provide a quite a good insulation of course the unit is still vacant and also partially furnished without all the soft touches right you will be able to hear a little bit more noise but after you furnish it with the curtain with the soft touches that absorb the noise right i think it will be fine one more thing is that this area is slightly more higher density whether would be there's further developments around this area not sure but likelihood will have of course because the land is quite prime uh, in, in Bang Sao South furthermore there's two more plot of land just right next to South Link and the field so so far there's no plan uh, for the field to be developed but not sure if the one between Northam and also South Link. if you want to take LRT to like Mid Valley or KL Eco City right you have to walk from here to this connecting bridge which connect the vertical offices here to the LRT in Bangsa Trade Center opposite to the other side from Novum you can see but from here it's a little bit blocked lah. the other day we were doing VP in Novum with all this green, the herbs garden yeah it's a totally different kind of product positioning you can see a lot of hard stuff lah. so one of the things that maybe we may not like it but of course the price point make it so much understandable so South Link right is just right next to South View if you are familiar with South View you will know South Link so this is the direction whereby you can walk just walk from here and go to KL Gateway or the Gateway residence over here you can walk past to go to the mall for your commercial fix la, coffee fix la, for your grocer la. you can walk towards this side towards the northern side to the vertical whereby you can actually walk up to the, the area whereby the botanical and co the cafes offers there right how many minutes it takes if i were to walk from south link to kl gateway mall then let's try it out this is my first time walking to kl gateway from the south view side south link side i saw people walking through this path so after you cross the traffic light right you just walk through this path i think this is connecting to the KL Gateway This is KL Gateway so I think we are in the right direction Yep, I saw the signage for the mall So within my walking pace about so slow right Just 2 to 3 minutes walk you will reach KL Gateway Mall This is already in KL Gateway Mall it's like pretty much convenient for you to get like things like coffee, grocers. What do you have over here? CMB, my news, village grocer, Chizu, Boost, SF Coffee, HM over here, Upper Ground, Anytime Fitness and stuff. So it's like pretty much convenient and you can get hard pay over here as well. It's the DIY.
MCO, a lot of FFB is affected because you cannot dine in. So hopefully the MCO period will be over as soon as possible. Actually, I personally really like to dine in because there's a lot of food, even the most simpler one like the Bo Ho Fan, Kai Si Ho Fan. Also, you cannot dine in because then you tap out, right? The Ho Fan is actually stick all together. So now it's like a lot of like chicken rice kind of tap out, dine in car kind of stuff. Hopefully, the FMB can resume as soon as possible. So now during MCO is like very quiet everywhere, especially the FNB lah because cannot dine in, and especially it will be a very hard hit for those who whose model cannot take away like those are hot pot ah ah BBQ ah. So now I'm heading back to get my car, walking from the KL Gateway Mall. Just a short stroll, you will reach South View. And then next to South View is already South Link, so it's very convenient to walk to get your tapau la, FNB la, food la, commercial fix la, coffee fix la. So you can see a lot of people taking the recycle bag to what? To the mall to get the grocers. So it's pretty convenient. You don't even need to drive a car. You work here, you buy your grocer here, you tapau here, you cook here. Some people actually use the scooter also. Also quite convenient to get around Bangsa South. We done the handover. So one day they handle about 20 over units. If it's 1,004, uh, easily they need to handle if they work every day at maximum capacity. Uh, they need to hand over 20 over to 30 units per day. Like. Mm, so if you want to get your unit fast, right, book your appointment slot as soon as possible. like prime location and want to be something very affordable and then yeah it comes with the price in terms of the density it's either the density or the price if it's like lower price then it's high density if it's like lower density usually it will be higher price and one of the major cons for South Lake is definitely the high density in this area 2.39 acres is 1,422 units so naturally it's like about 595 units per acre compared to next door South View 1,002 units over 2.13 acres which is about 565 units per acre and then on the right side Norhum 729 units over a 3 acres land so it's about the lowest la, lowest density la, 243 units per acre all in all right it's still considered high dense but of course in South Link similarly like South View they also break down into low zone and high zone so reduce the waiting time and then shorter travel time la, because South Link is 52 story high 52 eh. the most common one nowadays is like 40 plus now this South Link is already 52 all in all it's actually still try to reduce the waiting time the frequency of the lift going up and down right undeniably this is a high density development so one more thing that I don't like I'm not sure it's just temporary that's a uh, that kind of construction drilling hacking kind of sound always comes from outside when you are at the facilities level it is quite obvious i'm not sure if in the unit or in Norbum or in south link actually can hear the sound or not. on and off you will say da -da 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 something like that it's quite annoying uh, apart from the traffic noise but now now it's like because mco very less traveling so you actually don't hear too much noise from the traffic but when we do northern bangsa south right the traffic noise is a little bit significant lah. so one of the things that i don't enjoy and don't quite like is the noise of the surroundings because you are living in right smack in the city next to the six or eight lanes federal highway this is the sound that i mentioned on and off so it's kind of annoying, disturbing like you are if you in the unit you can hear the sound, uh, I'm not sure whether I'm not sure. If in the unit you can hear the sound, it's like quite kachau la, annoying la, why, why, very sian la. The the tang doli come sang come. It's quite sian to, to hear this kind of sound. And then of course it's uh the traffic noise or car sound, the motor sound. When Duke 3 is uh, completed, right? Duke 3 is a slightly higher, like three to four story higher. So three to four story higher, that means uh, the road is nearer to units. So the units that are situated at the front part will be noisier. La. So hopefully the insulation is great so that in the unit also you don't so you don't feel so stress and pressure la, with all the noise. But for those who used to stay in city, for example, not just Bangsa South, la, actually many of the condo that situated next to highway will have this kind of uh, noise 
consideration or issue. So if you are someone who actually doesn't sleep well with very little noise, I don't think this place is for you. But if you are someone who actually, like me, I can sleep easily and you like the convenience to everywhere, smack right in the central of the town, easy to go to the big malls or the small malls and yeah this is the place for you okay this is the end of the video so before we end right we want to do a comparison what are the three good things and three bad things that i like and don't like about south link of course the first one is undeniably locations of bangsa south literally you can walk towards work commercial fix cafe fix food and beverages with fmbs groceries and stuff so first of all locations second thing is that because the workplace is also here that means you can when you don't want to stay here you can actually rent out to the people who actually works here ready working population as your tenant and then of course the third thing is the accessibility to public transport Bangsa South is actually situated in the middle of two LRT station the LRT Putra line right on the left is University station on the right is Kerinji station and where does it take you to of course this line takes you to KL Central and before that one station after this stage Kerinji station whereby it connects to Bangsa South right there's a very long elevated bridge a uh, pedestrian bridge that you can walk to Kerinji station take one station to Abdullah Hukom which connects you to another working population hotspot which is KL, Eco City, Pavilion, Gardens Mall. So it's very, very convenient to be in this area. Literally, you don't even need to have a car or have your own transportation like motor and anything. All you need is just a pair of legs or maybe a scooter to get around this area. It is pretty much sufficient. And then comes to the three things that I don't quite enjoy or don't quite like about this place is of course first thing high density 1004 units in this area second thing is because of the product lack of a little bit of creativity and new element or innovative designs it's every single product is about the same Sentul Point, United Point, um, South View, South Link, Desa Green it's all about the same but the good thing, of course, the good thing is that when you do so many times about the same products, the quality and the delivery is quite certain. In terms of the quality of the delivery, more up to expectation. Lah. When we visit the unit just now, Type A Studio 450 square feet, right? Literally not much of things defects. Maybe here and there like require minor paint touch-up. But overall, you don't see a lot of cracks lah. And around the switches area, a lot of patch marks la, the wall is uneven la, water stagnant la, the water flow is slow la, there's no such thing, no such thing about this one, uh, there's no water pool around the area la, so far we don't see anything, facility wise, because this area, uh, for the third thing is facilities la, there's nothing wow here la, really nothing wow here, nothing fancy here, very plain vanilla design, that goes sick for all the you projects very simple straightforward design la. nothing to complain if you are not looking for something like Novum no. Novum 600 over thousand for 600 over square feet here 400 over 50 square feet for 300 over thousand so it's like different product positioning already ma. of course if you, if you like those kind of the design go for Novum go for Agile go for Star go for like update a very artsy artistic kind of design if you like something very practical, straightforward, simple, not much to maintain, very accessible to anywhere in the city area, easy to rent, then yeah, you know, South View, South Link is pretty much expected lah, in terms of the end result. If you buy any other new development site right, today, very, very seldom you can actually know what's the end result, but somehow UOA, good and bad, they always do something similar to the past projects don't believe you just have a look have a visit lah. just drive past South Link South View Desa Green in Taman Desa Sentul Point in Sentul United Point in Segambut are they like all the siblings projects all the siblings of brother sister just look the same mode the same chop okay that's all for the tour and sharing about South Link I hope that you like the video if you like the content that we are producing please help us with uh, three things click button like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel until then I'll see you again in next video bye bye